Welcome back to Koh Samui and welcome to the tippity top of Overlap Stone. It is a geographical marvel and an Instagram spot here on Koh Samui in southern Thailand. And today I'm going to take you for a drive up here. We're going to explore what it's like. I'll tell you how much it costs, how to get up here. Sorry, I'm distracted because I've got a delicious pineapple slice. <laughs> mm. Enjoy the video. My name is Paddy Doyle and that behind me is the little beautiful Dreamy. I recently quit my job as a teacher to travel all of the 77 provinces of Thailand. And we were having the time of our lives. We spent three months in the south visiting 18 of the incredibly beautiful provinces down there. <laughs> However, COVID came back. And so for safety reasons, I came back to Koh Samui to see out the worst of it and to highlight more of this incredibly beautiful island. So welcome to Samui SideQuest, where we're going to be highlighting all of the local businesses on the island and all of the best experiences this place has to offer. It's unbelievable. It really is a fantastic little temple. Incredible place. So subscribe and join us on today's Samui SideQuests. Let's go. Okay, first things first, let's get some supplies so we can have a little bit of lunch and a beverage. Energy, energy. Gatorade, classic. They used to have vegan pad kapow buns, but this one's run out, it looks like, which is a shame because they're so good. I did a tasting on my Instagram because I was that impressed by how good they are. But alas, let's get a, I don't want to get a meat one today. I was kind of feeling having a meat free day. But there we are. Yeah, let's get pineapple pie. That'll do. Okay, Gatorade. Pineapple pie. We're good to go. Bye. So I think the turning's up here on the right. And I just want to show you if it's steep or not. Because uh, I know that puts a lot of people off going to these types of places. I think this is the turning. I don't see a sign but I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm not on my professional lavalier mic, so apologies if the sound isn't as good, but my GoPro adapter's broken and I'm currently waiting for a new one to arrive. So I'm just shouting at the GoPro, hoping you can hear me. So the first thing we come through is a little bit of a uh, neighborhood. This turning is just past Lamai Beach, and again, all of the uh, Google Map links are in the description, don't worry. Oh, here we are, here's our first sign. It says 700 meters to overlap. As you can see, with that blood red writing. <laughs> Up we go a little bit. 700 meters, not far. A little bit steep there. Up we go, up we go. Come on, Dreamy.
wasn't too bad, was it? But look, <laughs> giant sign. Danger, stop motorbike. Hello. I think I'm gonna have to pay this dude a little bit of money. Oh my God, I can see the view. Okay, this is gonna be good. We picked a good day for this, I'll tell you that. This is basically because the road is so steep. They're saying park here for 40 baht and then you can walk the rest. And then you can get free water as well. Okay, I don't mind that. Thank you. Thank you. When I look. Yeah. From uh, Chiang Mai. You from Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai down to Yala. Motorbike? Chai. Yala. Up, 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 up. This motorbike here? This is my bike, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sunglasses on. Calf muscles engaged. <laughs> as we go up this steep hill. And as you can see today, look at the weather. Blue skies. All of the trees look extra green on a day like today. And the sea, all of the... Have a look at that. All of the turquoise and the coral reefs. And the shadows from the uh, clouds above. You just don't get that normally on overcast days. We've had about four days of rain. Woke up this morning, boom, look at this. Absolutely incredible. So it said about 300 or 400 meters, was it? I can't remember. I mean, there's a little rock right here now, but I don't think that's the proper one. So it's called Overlap Stone. And uh, it's a pretty, I think it's quite a popular place. Especially pre-COVID, a lot of people would come here and do Instagrams. And I've seen plenty of pictures and it looks amazing. I don't know why I've never come here. I always try to find the non-Instagram spots. But in my experience, especially in places like Sri Lanka and India, when you do go to these famous Instagram spots, normally they're overrun with people, obviously, taking Instagrams. And you always say to yourself, oh man, this place is beautiful. I just wish there wasn't so many people here. And the good thing, one of the very few good things about COVID is you can go to these Instagram spots without the crowds <laughs> because there are none. So I'm hoping Overlap Stone is gonna be practically Instagram people free. I can't speak because I'm walking up a crazy incline. You see? All right. <laughs> like almost here already. Just that one sharp bend and then you'll get to this light post thing. Look at that red arrow, and there's a sign here. The sign's a little bit worn out. I hope they're open, but I'm sure that that guy wouldn't have charged me 40 baht if he knew it was closed, but you never know. <laughs> oh look, this banana plant is in bloom. Check the snakes. So here, nice banana plant. This is the banana tree flower. And this will open up eventually. And there's the fruit. Some little green bananas. Not quite ready. But getting there. And here's the path up. Now just imagine, normally, probably motorbikes parked everywhere, noisy tuk-tuks, song tails, Lots of tourists and uh, God knows how many drones flying around. People queuing to take a picture at the place and um, just a bit of a hassle. And listen. Beautiful. And I've just seen a little statue in this bush. Can you see that?
You've got a little leaf on you there. I'm just going to clear you up. Interesting. Coast of Miri is amazing, isn't it? Look at that. All the spiky trees and the cool curling vines that go around and crawl around and circle things. Beautiful red flowers in bloom. You've got the bananas. And uh, we'll follow this path around the corner here. I don't think it'll be far. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just stood on a rotten fruit. What is this? It smells bad. It smells like rotten fruit, obviously. There's lots of... What are these figs? Oh, it's this tree above me, obviously. Any ideas what that is? Let's stand on one. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know what that is, guys. It just seems to be quite a clear path. I mean, look, they've even concreted this part. Very easy to find, very easy to follow. A couple of mosquitoes knocking about, so bring some spray. And yeah, lovely. And now I think we're getting towards it now because you can see a little house or a little settlement. Maybe they're going to charge us. I think I think there's a small charge. You know, if it is an Instagram spot, I love these. I love these. Like these, these are the best, man. Like green on one side and red on the other. Really cool. Like I was saying, if it is an Instagram spot, they are going to be charging, aren't they? I wonder who owns it. How do you? How do you, I think you probably buy the land, obviously. And I, oh, I can see a little glimpse of it. Let me just put my mask on because I'm gonna go near someone. Pass it back, huh? Yeah. Not a lie. Oh, wow. Thank you. Here we go, look. Two plastic chairs. And here's the bridge that I've seen on Instagram. And that is pretty impressive. And the view is incredible. But let's soak that up in a minute. Let's just catch our breath. What does it say? Do not touch the bridge railings. Okay, that's probably because they're really knackered. It looks like they're not, the, the concrete that they were set in has come off. Proper dodgy. I just love this pink little blossom. Oh, look. Can you see? This one's white and then the tips are purple. And then some of them can't decide if they want to be pink or white. That's beautiful. Okay, then. Shall we... Uh, Shall we do it? So far, I'm not dead. We made it across. You can see the the concrete beams. Um, they're still quite strong, but the uh, the banisters have completely kind of collapsed, probably through erosion or time or whatever. Obviously, be careful here. Look straight down, you're dead. So don't mess about here. Keep keep your wits about you. The rock itself is very stubbly. <laughs> couldn't think of a word there you know just have a look it's very um who cares it's rock it's rocky it makes you wonder like how did it get here probably through erosion or potentially it fell down from a higher mountain but I'm looking there doesn't seem to be above these coconut trees much rocks or anything so I'm a little bit bemused and then there is a bit of a worn path you can see we'll go around the corner here and um, it's not very big. This is this is it. This is the final part of the rock. And um, you can hold on here. Put your left foot firmly there. And obviously, be careful. That is a drop that will end your life. So don't mess about. I mean, and then just enjoy that view. Look at the water today. It's so flat and calm. And you can see reflections of the dark clouds interrupting that turquoise bay. Or that actually just might be coral and um, rocks I'm not sure you've got the white sands and the fishing boats coming in and then out in the distance where you see that landmass and tall mountains and a lot more clouds 
that's Nakon, see Tamara and Kanom area. We went there um, many months ago now, a couple of months ago, when we were doing the provinces. Uh, it's not Suratani province, you can see. That's Nakon, see Tamara. And then on this side, let me just make sure I'm not going to fall. Um, you can see finished and unfinished pool villas or houses that are building here with this incredible view. And uh, they won't be cheap. Some of them seem to be finished and some of them don't seem to be finished. I'm kind of in two minds if I won the lottery, to be honest, because I've been looking around at Koh Samui and all of the incredible multi-million dollar mansions, the houses that I dream of moving into in the future, you know, everybody wants to dream. I, I'm in one mind because one part of me is like, yeah, if I could afford it, I'd buy it. And then the other half of me is like, I would have to drive up a mountain like this every day just to get home um, or to go down to the shops. You go down like this. I don't know if I'd, I'd probably have to just get a nice bike or a good car, wouldn't I? Anyway, should we get our snacks out and enjoy the view? <laughs> oh baby, I love your madness It's so incredibly beautiful oh, You shine like gold So selfless to all And wild like an animal oh. Some would say I'm insane in the right and away But I just love to play in your fun and your games Always hungry for more, that's just how I was born Take me somewhere I don't know And give me your freedom Life is so easy 